So Rudy is out here promoting possibly, I mean, possibly the two worst sets I can imagine back to back. Ravnica Remastered, which is a set 100% of reprints. If uh, Dominaria Remasters didn't make you poor, you have now a second opportunity to invest your hard-earned money into a set with no creativity, no game. Like I mean, it's a set of reprints, right? And by buying this set, you're encouraging Wizard of the Coast just to be lazy. Uh, instead of designing new cards, new mechanics, new lore, we just go back to Ravnica. We just go back to Zendikar. Let's go back to Dominaria. I mean, you realize that um, this is very lame, right? It's the reason that, you know, Marvel movies are failing right now, among other reasons, because it's just the same, pat like, how many movies do you need to see before you're like, wait, haven't I seen this movie before? So, Alpha Investments is now back to promoting Magic the Gathering. I suspect the reason he's promoting Magic the Gathering is MetaZoo, according to himself, is was and will be not investable. So his Patreons are all looking for that next big investment. MetaZoo is not it. The Pokemon company does not give a shit about this guy. They're their Pokemon company. They're Nintendo. Trust me, they don't know this guy exists. They have no idea who Alpha Investments is. At the Japanese office, everyone making decisions is like, well, F that dude. Um, and then you got... Uh, so the two main games he was pumping, right, was MetaZoo, which again according to him, is not investable. His $8,200 five-kit Nightfall, not investable, apparently. Uh, the $700 Mystery Boxes, which was 90% MetaZoo, not investable. And the other one was the Flesh and Blood. A lot of gr players have a very... So in Flesh and Blood, they have a very aggressive take on alpha investments role there they don't want him to be part of the game they want legends stu uh, stu uh, study studios to promote game stores they want game stores to have a fighting chance they want people to know that they're not going to be undercut by some random dude online who's got special cards promos of himself Basically, his deal with MetaZoo is no longer acceptable for Flesh and Blood. He's ranted about them, both these companies he's ranted about, because he's made a lot of money, man. This dude has made a killing, a killing on MetaZoo and Flesh and Blood. One of the, ga one of the games, I think, is going to zero. That's MetaZoo. And Flesh and Blood is actually doing well enough they don't need him anymore maybe you can make the argument they needed him when they first started i think that's kind of a reasonable argument but they don't need him anymore so he's only able to sell one item now which is magic the gathering yes this item which he's shit on for so long he's shit on management he's shit on chris cox and cynthia williams he has said many many bad when he was selling his $700 mystery boxes, he was shitting on the $1,000 mystery box that they had. Because he had m m more stuff to sell. I mean, it's really obvious, right? So if he's selling flesh and blood, the people who are going to buy flesh and blood, they don't have money to buy magic anymore. So it makes sense for him to sell flesh and blood by saying magic sucks, flesh and blood to the moon. You ain't going to see him say that anymore. Not based on their current relationship. Again, we can argue, and I would argue with you, that he doesn't actually play these games. It's clear to me, he doesn't even play MetaZoo, a game where he has, what, 10, 12 promos of himself? He actually does not play the game. Because, let, let's be quite honest, right? Um, if he did, if he were to pull a really good card... He would know what the card was, especially if the video is titled Native $100 Plus. Wouldn't he know what the card is that like he's trying to look for? No, no idea. So all he is is a salesperson, and now MetaZoo is unsellable, according to him. 
uninvestable, and that's all his patrons want to do. They want to look for the next investment. And now he's he's left to selling Magic the Catering. It's kind of a sad thing, really, right? Where he's got a, he's attacking Magic, and that's how he gets all his views, right? Don't buy Magic, buy Flesh and Blood. Don't buy Magic, don't buy Pokemon, buy MetaZoo. These are investable games, going to the moon, guys. And now he's back to selling Magic, but the problem is he shit on it so much that like no none of his like if you read these comments none of his subscribers want to buy magic anymore because he's said so many bad things about it again he said so many ridiculously bad things about its management about the cards um and he, he's got he's even he's even gone to the point where um <laughs> let's be 100 with you He's just promoting new magic. Huh. New, yes, new magic. He is promoting new magic. Not old magic, new magic. Because what does he sell? New magic. What does he buy? Old magic. And maybe maybe 10 years ago, maybe 5 years ago, maybe 2 years ago, the Timmies are that stupid. Because they do work at Taco Bell, right? For minimal wage. But even the dumbest Timmy is saying, wait a second, something's wrong here. I put all my life savings to MetaZoo. It's gone down to zero. I put my money into Flesh and Blood. I don't play the game, but the money, the first of this in Monarch is still $80, $90 a box. I paid $500 for it. That doesn't look good. I am keep I keep buying these stupid kits. These kits, right? Investment kits. These bundles, whatever they are, right? Like, Man, I bought the Hello Kitty bundle. And I got absolutely demolished there. Eventually, um, eventually, I think people are seeing him for what he is. That he's just a salesperson. And he's not as... In the card industry, he has a lot of heavy bags. And he's unloading them on dumb people right now. I will stand by. Ravnica Remastered is a stupid set because I know what's coming. But who who doesn't who believes that we're not going to in in the next five years we will definitely be the Ravnica at least once guaranteed, if not twice again. And when we go back again, we'll have the same cards again. I mean, just another garbage MTZ set with a few good cards for Commander. Anyone feel like Rudy is not funny anymore and bitter about the haters? I used to love Rudy, but now he just seems like a show without the charm. Okay, please stop trying to sneak in Metapoo with every other real TCG you mention. It destroys all your credibility instantly. The price is too high. Now I'm out. I skipped Ravnica Remastered. Now this. Truly a bummer way. Even the Timmys are figuring this out. And the Timmy's are incredibly slow.